Welcome to Cameron House Marina, I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland. This is a 2009 dory style workboat. A true Land Rover of the sea, she is a versatile workhorse, being of particular interest to dive clubs, anglers, work yards or marinas. Powered by a 3 litre Mercruiser, she has a top speed of 27 knots, primarily due to her lightweight construction and bespoke M-shaped cathedral hull. Twin B characteristics of her cathedral hull appear in an M-like formation subsurface, providing excellent stability at sea with minimal air pockets. As demonstrated here by over 220 kilograms of self-confessed load moving from side to side without excess list to the boat in comparison to a larger 28-foot sports cruiser. With a heavy load on the portside gunwale, the list is not extreme and submerges the boat only to the freshly anti-fouled waterline. The versatility of the vessel is displayed somewhat through its features but primarily through its layout. In regards to features at the transom end we have a bollard cleat here that's reinforced. That's perfect if you're towing heavy items behind you. Also if you want to moor up stern too you have the cleats on either side to assist that. The grab rail that goes around the entirety of the boat comes up round the bow past the pilot house but just stops for a break in the port side where we have that action workstation. If you are doing a spot fishing on board, you can get clip-on rod holders, they will fit and go around the grab rail. Now taking one look inside, all of the impact points that will carry the major load on the vessel have been reinforced with this corrugated steel here on the floor, there on top of the engine bay, on the port side of the action station and also you can see it then coats the port side of the gel coat too. We have a textured step that allows you to get a bit of extra elevation if you want to stand up. Say for example you are bringing in nets, you're bringing in mooring boys, you can tie them off on the cleats here. You can use this to help haul those heavy items back on board. If you look, we've got a purpose designed cleat on that side, there isn't one there. So you definitely know that is exactly what the setup is used for on this side here. Moving up through the walkway to the walk around, we're two steps up onto the bow where we have an electric winch. There's also an anchor with chain and two cleats on either side. Excellent visibility went up here on the raised platform and then the roof is red. Now that is purposely done for a reason. Red is naturally the most eye-catching colour on the spectrum. So if you're out at sea, for example, in an emergency, uh, you call a coast guard, they will be able to come across and the red will very much stand out against the grey blue black drop of the sea and if it weren't for that half cab which you can unzip by the way you would have full walk around access just we were on the roof a frame your all-round white light nav lights port and starboard green and red and then your vhf aerial and also the aerial for the gps now some people would use this to ferry passengers aboard if you want and the weather turns you can get maybe seven or eight of them within this enclosure area they may want to sit down on the bench but if you want to open it up it does reveal inside your own personal bathtub now close that back out over again and you have a faucet there where you can click it together with a padlock and lock that area off same with this which has a sliding door allowing the operator to get out of the elements and drive the boat in perfect comfort at all times there's space for the pilot and also space for a second person to stand within the wheelhouse while underway. Just above your head you have a VHF. Both of the port and starboard windows will open. Your front three segments are fixed. We then have a Garmin GPS. There's a plotter on that. Well, it is a plotter. It gives you your speed under propulsion and we also have a transducer fitted to the boat which gives you uh, sonar. Now, on this one, the standard horizon, you do again have the same feature. So you've got GPS and plotting capabilities, but it also gives us our celestial information. So we can tell moonrise, moonset, sunset, and a wee fib there, because I haven't seen the sun since 2022. All of our dials, very simple and straightforward, relevant to our three litre, 135 horsepower engine, just at the stern there. And then our electric anchor winch, controls up and down and the circuit breaker master 12 volt switches there and then a document folder for the operator let's take a look at the engine bay now that is the best access to an engine that any of us in the team have ever come across before it's a three liter mercruiser 135 horsepower petrol engine undoubtedly the most commonly used engine in the boating trade period access to all of it is just so simple your filters are on top here and the boat will come serviced at point of sale a nice dry engine bay that is exactly what you like to see now the boat is perfect for anglers dive clubs for a work yard if you want to use it as a ferry it really is the land rover defender of the sea i'm ruben from marine sales scotland we're fun in the water begins